Welcome to Bikini Design Club. Today we will be sewing the twist front uh, swimsuit. Uh, this is actually a request of one of our customers and um, I struggled a little bit to find the best way to do the front the best way I can. So today I'm going to do the tutorial and the pattern will be available uh, or on our online store at bikinidesignclub.com and you will find the link down below here on our YouTube channel. Well, this is the back, uh, this is the front, bottom, this is the top strap, it will be here, this is the front top and this is the back, uh, one of the sides of the back. Uh, we will be uh, cutting the fabrics, this is a non-reversible pattern and I'm gonna start by cutting all my fabrics and I will be back here to show you the different pieces already ready to go to the sewing machine. So I already have here all my pieces ready and so uh, I cut it all of them on the color of my fabric. So my one of the sides of my swimsuit will be red and the other will be pink. I love these two colors combined. Um, and so my lining will be the same, despite this is a non-reversible, I will use the same fabric for my lining and for my uh, outer fabric because uh, on the twist in the front you could see the, the lining and also because I'm gonna use some top stitch uh, with a color thread that I want to make an experiment and uh, the pattern was actually drawn with the negative is ready to be a, non, uh, a reversible uh, swimsuit and that's why I'm able to use the same tension and the same fabrics for the in uh, for the lining and for the self fabric uh, but despite that it will not be reversible and you will see why during the sewing process so uh, we all always have a right side and a wrong side of the fabric despite this is a plain fabric so uh, check your fabric and see the texture and see which is the right size right sides of your fabric so this is the strap this is the back top this is the back bottom this is the front uh, bottom and this is the front top the first thing we are going to do is get our darts ready this is quite simple. I'm going to the sewing machine. We will fold our fabric and we will sew half a centimeter from the edge of the dart. We will sew our dart. I have a special way of doing it. You probably have seen this before on my other tutorials. Um, just take into consideration that you need to remember which side of the fabric is facing your body and outwards and so which is the right side of your fabric. So let's start by doing our darts. So getting my darts ready, folded fabric. So we are ready to start with my straight stitch, half a centimeter from the edge, from the outer part of the darts to the bust point, one back. And now I go uh, with slight, slightly curving and half a centimeter from the edge. When I reach the end here, I will not go back uh, for the finishing stitch. I will just uh, put my needle up and go out. So I'm reaching the edge. And now very clear the, near the edge, I, I do two or three stitches, needle up and cut. And I will do all my darts like this. I just tie a knot in, now in the end, I tie a knot and I will have a perfect finished bust point. So let's do the same for all our darts. So our darts are sewn and now to finish this we just need, as I told you, to tie two knots and cut the excess thread. This will make the dart look nice on the fabric, the, the end of the dart, the bust point will be 
very nice once it's ready. So do this for all your four um, darts and we are ready to continue with our swimsuit. So now we want to combine the left side and the right side and we will uh, sew the strap pieces to the front on both sides. So in this case, I'm gonna place right sides facing together here and pin and I'm going to do the same here Yeah, I wanted to check the fabric, the right side and the wrong side. So right sides facing together. Both of them are right sides facing up, so it's easier for me. And this right side is facing the right side of the front. And now, yes, I'm ready to pin. I will place two pins and we will do the same for the pink fabric. So repeat, just repeat the process. Let's sew over the four uh, pieces of fabric. So these four places we will sew uh, eight millimeter seam allowance. I will use uh, my lightning stitch or my zigzag stitch, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I will do an under stitch um, because I want to make sure that this is stable and exactly where I want it to where I want uh, to sit on my body. So let's go to the sewing machine. Okay, so now I want to see, uh, to decide which uh, side is my pink and which side is my red. This is, this is of course random. So I will place this side with uh, pink and this side with uh, red. Okay, now uh, we want to sew uh, from the edge of the strap until the front bottom of our front top. And we want to do this on the reverse sides. So we will place right sides facing together like so. I'm going to pin everything in place from the top until the bottom and I will sew using my overlock and applying elastic. We can also go ahead and uh, pin the other sides of our uh, top part. So right sides facing together Pin everything from the bottom until the end of your strap. I'm going to flatten my seams here. I thought I was going to do an understitch, but I'm not. I decided to flatten the, the, um, the seams. But we will then do a uh, understitch on the entire neckline. So I will tell you what my idea is, but it's just to stabilize the, the garment when it's on your body and it doesn't roll over where you don't want it to. So now that our pink side is also ready, I'm going to prepare my overlock to do the overlock applying the elastic. We now have here our right and our left and this is my left because uh, when we sew the elastic, you know that the elastic goes a little bit further than the, than the threads 
and this bit sticking out when you put the right sides of the of the swimsuit is the difference that you will have sticking out here that's why when you do reversibles on one of the sides you always have a sneak peek on the other one it's almost impossible not to have so my right side of my swimsuit will be this one so i will not see the the fabric underneath and we will do an understitch uh, so that the fabric from the lining, this one, stays exactly where we want it. But before we do that, I have my left side here. I'm going to go and keep my right side for now. And with my left side, I'm going to use one of the half fronts and right sides facing together. I am going to pin this in place like so and I can open my front because I will place the other half of my pattern also doing exactly the same like so and I will pin all this once we close this like this This will then align to the bottom. The only thing that we need to make sure that we do is you have two options. You can sew uh, the entire seam in one go. I'm not applying elastic. This is an horizontal seam, so no elastic. And you can do it in, a, in one time and that's it. But then we need to open a small hole here where we will twist our pattern. So I will go ahead and sew directly the entire piece. And then I will, uh, with this, I don't know the name in English, I will remove the threads and make a hole matching the front and the lining on the same area. I will make the hole, okay? So the, the hole will not rip apart. On each side of the hole, I will make a straight stitch with my straight stitch machine just to secure the hole uh, and removing the threads with this. I just open what I've just sewn and to make sure that I'm opening the hole exactly on the same place on both sides I'm going with my ruler and the pen washable and I'm going to mark one centimeter and then I'm gonna mark a two whole centimeter two centimeter hole and then I'm gonna mark again so that I can uh, as I told you before reinforce the sides of my hole on my straight stitch machine. So here it is, one and a half centimeter here, one and a half here, and then two centimeter hole. And I'm going to reinforce on both sides, I did it already here, with a straight stitch uh, securing the overlock threads. Of course, to do this, I fold the fabric again, and I do this with the fabric folded. So as you can see, I have reinforced on the side, the other is already, now let's do the same on this side. So I already know this is going to be a bit bulky on my um, swimsuit so I'm going to cut all the excess threads that I can to make sure this is already clean okay and now we will rip the hole where we know we now have the markings Okay, so now that we have our hole uh, ready, 
um, we will do the understitch that I've told you in the beginning. And how will we do that? Well, this is my left side and we already know that this is the position where we want the fabric to stay. So with your seam towards the lean lining sides, like so, so my, my seam is to this side here. Uh, we open we open the entire piece until the top of the strap and with our seam again to this side to the lining sides I will do a top stitch from the beginning until the end all the way around here so now I have to change my machine my needles and my configuration and I'm going to do that you can do a zigzag stitch if you want uh, if it's elastic, it doesn't matter the type of stitch you want to make. I want to do a cover stitch with two threads. So I'm going to prepare my overlock again and my cover stitch. It's the same uh, to do the cover stitch here with two lines. Okay, so now we will do the, the top stitch, the cover stitch, as I told you before, to, to do the under stitch on our big uh, swimsuit front. Don't forget we placed our seam towards our li lining side and we are sewing along the lining with the seam. back and we cut so we have here our top stitch our cover stitch it looks quite beautiful it is in red and this is the pink side of the swimsuit so I think it's quite nice but you will not see this this will be in contact with your skin inside so you will have the neckline very steady so before we go ahead and uh, combine the two pieces together, we need to do the top stitch on the other sides. So let's do it. Now we we have the hole that we've made before and we want to insert our front inside our hole. So the hole is on the two sides and we will insert it. It can be on this direction. So it's here. And now uh, what do we want to do? Let me think. Mm -mm. So now we need to sew one centi centimeter and a half here from the inside. So we flip this again and we will sew one and a half centimeters. We can do this using the ruler or by the eye, but okay, I'm going to use the ruler and mark where I want to start and stop sewing. And I'm just going to go to the straight stitch machine and do a small st stitch here.
Okay. And now, again, I don't like threads, so, okay, reverse this. And this is going to go inside here. And now it's here. I removed the stitches again, sorry. No, I shouldn't have done them yet. I have to combine the back first, the, the, the bottom front first. So I'm gonna remove them. I, I think you will be glad on having this tutorial because this is actually completely non-intuitive to do this twist. At least for me, it is probably for you too. But I think I will love the final results. So that's why I'm doing this with so many details. Because if this is amazing after it's done, I want to use it for me, for myself. Okay. So. With your right side facing up. And one of the bottom fronts now we need to place right sides facing together and just like we did here we fold this and we pin from the outside to the inside Is there anyone in the audience which is speaks only English or everyone's Portuguese? Yeah? Any Portuguese or uh, any English speaking or all Portuguese? English and Portuguese. Ah, okay. Both of them. So now I'm going to my overlock and I'm going to, oh, now I have the cover stitch configuration. Okay, so uh, I have to change... No, I'm going to do with the straight stitch using an elastic stitch because I don't want to change the configuration of my overlock. So I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to do a zigzag. So I've sewn the bottom part to my top, but I left um, three or four centimeters without sewing. And now I'm going to do exactly the same for the lining. In this case, as I told you, the lining is exactly the same as my main fabric, but nevertheless, this is the lining. So my lining will be here like this, like so. And I want to sew my lining to my lining top so I align it here I'm gonna pin and I'm going to sew leaving again the same centimeters that I left there I'm gonna leave them again here okay okay so we now have our uh, two sides front ready one with a hole and the other with the missing sewing uh, on the center seam so now we just go with these parts the top parts and we insert it through the two holes to the front. And now we need to pull it because we will need to sew again, right sides facing together, this small bit over here, like this, like so. Okay, so this is a very uh, difficult procedure and I'm gonna do this by hand, so I'm gonna grab threads in reds and my hand needle and I'm gonna stitch this by hand. 
Hi, so I've inserted my left through the hole from the back to the front and now I've just placed my bottom right sides facing together and I'm just giving con uh, continuation to this stitch that we had but I need to give it here one and a half centimeters. I'm doing it by hands because this is not easy to go to the sewing machine so I'm gonna do it by hands to make sure that I'm able to connect this small area correctly. So I'm gonna do some hand stitching.